Would you go to a restaurant and order Asian carp? Well, you might not, but in China they would. And the Illinois governor is hoping that could save the Great Lakes. Governor Pat Quinn announcing an agreement between an Illinois fishery and a Chinese meat company. The plan, the company would catch fish in Illinois rivers and then send them to the Chinese company, who would then sell the meat to restaurants in China where Asian carp are a delicacy. And we played the video over and over of Asian carp jumping out of the river, but check this out. An up-and-close look at the fish that's striking fear into all of us who live along the Great Lakes. And this morning, we're here with James Clark from the Shedd Aquarium, who brought in this specimen for us to look at. He's a little bit tired, not exactly a morning <laughs> fish. Uh, but I uh, wanted to chat with you a little bit about why are we so frightened of this kind of fish. Well, Asian carp are what we got. They're an invasive species. And actually, the uh, Great Lakes Fishery Commission has noticed that, uh, published that, the taxpayers in the Great Lakes region are spending five billion dollars a year for invasive species including this guy. Yeah. This particular carp, what they do is they're planktivores. They eat the uh, plants, that the little microscopic plants mm -hmm. that are growing in the water and actually are the food source for our commercially important fish such as perch and the like lake whitefish. Okay. So what are the threat with these guys is if they get into the Great Lakes they're going to run up into the tributaries which are the nursery grounds and eat all the food so that our commercially important and recreationally important fish will actually not have any food to grow up from babies to full adult size. And if we can get inside this guy's head so to speak He's got some kind of special filter in there that most fish don't have? Right. Along his gills, it has what's called gill rakers. They're long filaments. And what they do is they actually, any water that goes through as he's breathing, anything mm -hmm. that's in the water of a certain size that, of the plankton, they're just going to filter right out, and then they sweep it off. It goes into their stomach, and they just start putting on biomass. Yeah. They grow really rapidly. They're very efficient at what they do. He's a little shiny today. He could use a little powder. But why is his eye so low on his head like that. Most for fish the, you don't see a lot like that. Right. For their uh, particular lifestyle where they're swimming, they're looking, they want to know where the bottom is so that they're not scooping along the bottom when they're feet, feeding. They also want to make sure that most of their predators are going to come from below. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that also helps them keep an eye on where they're going, what's coming at them. And so that particular, for their lifestyle, that particular set of eyes helps them just be that much more efficient at what they do, which is removing plankton from the water. If these guys get into the lakes, basically, is there any way to get them out once they're in there? No, and with any invasive species, once it gets in, there's very little chance of ever getting them back out. There might be possibilities of control, which we, um, we had mm -hmm. the sea lamp right here. We talked about the right. uh, chemical control because we can of one of their uh, larval stages. We can take them out, and it's 90% effective. These guys, we don't have that actual option. So once okay. they get in, they're, they're in. So that's why uh, we're, our partners are working to try to find a long-term solution to keep them from getting into the Great Lakes in the first place. Uh, some people say they're good eating. Have you ever had one? Uh, I have tasted it. They are very gamey by American standards. Mm -hmm. uh, Americans prefer like perch or whitefish, which right. are a very bland flavor. But where they are native to in uh, China and Southeast Asia, they are eaten quite frequently. They are a staple of the diet. All right. Well, James Clark with the Shed Aquarium. I certainly uh, I'm not going to shake your hand. Never mind. <laughs> I certainly appreciate you coming in here today for our first on daybreak uh, dead fish on the show. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And good luck in You're your welcome. education efforts.